Hi there, I'm Gabriel Morris. I'm a travel writer and travel photographer. I've been uh, traveling budget style off and on for more than 20 years now. I've been to 20 countries so far uh, and I've spent more than two years altogether traveling abroad. So I'm going to give you a few ideas um, for uh, traveling around the world that might help you out a little bit. Alright, so my first suggestion would be to pack light. Um, if you're traveling budget style, then obviously you're not going to have, you know, porters carrying your stuff around for you. You're going to be uh, carrying everything you have on your back. You're going to be trying to stuff it into compartments on trains and buses. And it's just a heck of a lot easier if you can uh, get that pack a little bit lighter. So here's an example of a typical traveling backpack, kind of a medium sized pack. You know, uh, this is different from if you're going backpacking in the wilderness. You'd want something bigger, but uh, if you're traveling, you probably aren't going to be taking a tent and and uh, stove and stuff like that. So um, your typical backpack here, I'm going to give one quick tip on putting your backpack on. So you'll notice there's three sets of straps here and what you want to do is loosen up all the straps and then you start tightening them from the bottom up. So first you, you buckle in the hip belt and you get that nice and snug. Notice these ones are still loose. So you get that one good and snug. Then you pull this down. And then you pull this down. And that's the optimum way to uh, basically make the weight uh, resting on your shoulders the best. So I'm going to give a couple of quick ideas on things not to bring, or just some examples of, of stuff to think about. So say you're thinking of uh, bringing a hammock. How uh, many times you're actually going to make use of a hammock for something that, uh, you know, is this bulky and it takes up this much room in your backpack. So um, I'm not saying necessarily don't bring a hammock, but what I would suggest is spread everything you have out on the floor and take a look at every little thing you got there and decide, do I actually need this and uh, is it actually going to improve my traveling experience? So if you're going to a tropical island and you're just going to sit there on the beach all day, maybe a hammock's a good idea. but. Um, otherwise, it might be better to leave it out. Let's say that you're going to uh, be doing some snorkeling. Rather than bringing a mask, fins, and a snorkel, which takes up a heck of a lot of weight, then uh, you might want to just bring the mask. Um, because uh, you can snorkel just fine with just the mask. You know, you, it's not going to be quite as, uh, um, quite as easy getting around, but it works just fine. Even better than that, just a pair of swim goggles. Look at how light uh, and uh, how little that is. It takes up hardly any space. And with a good pair of swim goggles, then you can see fish and everything down there almost just as well as you can see a mask. So those are just a couple of examples of, of uh, things you want to look for. Take a look at everything you have and decide, do I need this? How can I make this smaller? Uh, how can I get the weight down in my pack so that I'm not having to carry so much stuff around? So my second suggestion is to read through a guidebook well. Um, not just so that you can learn about the places you've already heard about. If you're going to, say, India and you want to see the Taj Mahal, or you're going to Egypt and you want to see the Great Pyramids, sure, you do want to read about uh, those places more. But uh, even more so, it's good to read through the guidebook, you know, front to back, so that you can learn about the places that you haven't heard about um, and find some out-of-the-way spots. A lot of my, you know, absolute favorite places that I've been were, were places that only had, you know, a paragraph, half a page, a page, just a little bit of a mention in the guidebook, um, but it sounded kind of intriguing, so I went there, and one of the most amazing places, and uh, hardly anybody else there, and, and quite a different experience from being in the thick of the crowd. So as far as guidebooks go, my recommendation is the rough guides, for one simple reason, which is that they manage to pack more into their books. Um, if you look at the Lonely Planet India, for example, versus the rough guide to India, the rough guide has uh, something like 300 pages more um, than the Lonely Planet. And as a result, they actually cover places that the Lonely Planet doesn't even mention. One thing to bring is a hat of some sort. Um, fairly obvious, but a uh, very useful thing to bring along. It'll keep the sun out of your eyes, it'll keep the rain out of your eyes. If it's uh, cold out, it'll warm you up a little bit. And if it's hot out, then you uh, wet it down, throw it on, and it'll keep you cool. So, one fairly, uh, fairly obvious, but uh, useful thing to bring. Another very good one. Earplugs. If you're uh, stuck on a, on a plane and you got a, you know, screaming kid next to you, 
if you're sleeping somewhere and the roosters are waking you up in the morning, you can uh, use your imagination pretty easily on that one, but earplugs are a definite uh, one to bring along. Now one of these little guys can come in handy. I don't exactly know what you uh, call it, but something for blocking out the light while you're sleeping. If you're on the plane or uh, want to take a nap during the day or, you know, uh, the sun just comes up too early and you want to block out the light, then one of these little guys can really help you get some more sleep. Throw that on along with your earplugs and you pretty much block out the world. Sleep is crucial, of course, so uh, that's a good one to toss in the pack. Doesn't take up hardly any room. You know, just stuff it in some little bag and it might come in handy. So another good idea is needle and thread. It can come in very handy if you, you know, a strap breaks on your backpack or a shoelace or who knows what could happen. Needle and thread can really uh, save your butt sometimes. So um, got a little thing here, of a bunch of different needles, some very strong upholstery thread. This stuff you can barely break with your hand. So uh, recommend upholstery thread and then a little pair of scissors for cutting up the thread there. Another idea, some kind of a multi-tool. It has a knife on it, of course. Pliers, they can come in, come in handy for, you know, random little things and be very helpful. Um, can opener, that can really be helpful. Another one is some sort of water purifier. This is called chlorine dioxide. You can get it at your local camping uh, or outdoor store. And uh, if you're in some situation somewhere where, you know, you're you're uh, out of water and all you can drink is like local water or, or you happen to be camping and you're going to drink from a stream, then it's good to have just as a, as a backup so that you can uh, drink water and feel safe about drinking it. So another suggestion is band-aids and or moleskin. In case you get uh, bruises, blisters, whatever, moleskin is specifically for your feet. If you get blisters from, from, uh, um, from your boots or your sandals or whatever, um, that can really save you to have uh, something to patch up your feet. So another idea is grapefruit seed extract. And what this is for is this can cure Giardia. If you get uh, some kind of a stomach um, illness, then uh, you put about 15 drops of this stuff in water or juice, uh, drink it two or three times a day, and that can, that can kill any kind of bad parasites or whatever you happen to get in your system. Another one is uh, just a little thing of mosquito repellent. You never know where there may or may not end up being some annoying bugs. Um, something that's small, that's not going to take up much space or, or uh, weight, and just toss it in there and that might be a real lifesaver. So I'll put a comprehensive list uh, of all the stuff that I mentioned here as well as everything else that you might want to bring on your travels below this video. So just look in the uh, show more section below the video and there will be a full list of things to bring on your travels. So I hope you find a few of those suggestions useful. Have an awesome trip and who knows, maybe see you somewhere around the world.